Now we are going to build a simple, fast API. Remember, the focus is not building some crazy API here, but rather learning the overall process of how to deploy Dockerized containers to GCR. Let's install GCP CLI into our development container. Here is the new version of the development Docker file. You can look through it and see that it will install gcloud which is gcp's cli this is a change to the docker file so we will need to rebuild our development container how do we do that we type shift command p and reload window after doing that you should see the dev containers extension pick up that there was a change to the docker file you can click this rebuild button After our dev container has been rebuilt, we can run this smoke test to confirm that gcloud has been installed. And indeed it has. When you're working with GCP or any cloud provider for that part, you wanna stay organized. And the suggested technique for doing this is to organize the resources you provision into projects. So let's create a project and we'll call it how to deploy a fast API to GCR. We'll click create and we'll be able to easily delete all of the resources we provision by simply deleting this project. So we'll select this project. The next thing to do is authenticate our dev container with our GCP account. So the way we do that is by typing gcloud init. Yes, I would like to log in. It'll spit out a URL that you can go to in your browser. I will choose my account. Type my password. Accept. And then I will eventually be given a verification code that I can use to authenticate my dev container with GCP. Then I will select the project that we just created. And now our dev container is set up to provision resources. So what we'll do now is prepare our application to be deployed, starting by first creating what's called a repository in our GCP account. Our repository is a place where we can store our images. To give you an analogy, if you're confused by this Docker lingo, the Docker file is sort of like a blueprint. We will read the instructions in our Docker file and that will leave us with what's called an image. An image will be a deployable version or runnable version of our application and all of the dependencies it requires, including its OS requirements. Let's check out our Google Cloud Console and go over to the artifact registry, enable it for our project. This is where we will be storing our images. Now let's create a repository that will store all of the images for the production versions of our application. Here's how we do this. Great. And now if we reload the console, we see we have a repository created in our artifact registry. Let's now create another Docker file in our project. This one will house the instructions for how to build our application for deployment purposes. This one is called dockerfile.prod. And this is the content that we will populate this file with. Now that we have our production Docker file, we will add one more file called cloudbuild.yaml. Now we can issue a command to GCP through the gcloud CLI that will read these instructions and build our Docker file in a way that's compatible with the GCR platform. 
Let's give this a spin. What you're seeing here is something you'll see often when interacting with the GCP platform. They do their best to ask for your consent before using new features on their platform. I will say yes. So let's pop over to our repository once again. I reload this. Eventually we should see our image stored here. And there it is. So once again, what we did was create another Docker file that includes the instructions for how to build our application in a way that we can deploy to GCR. We also included a file called cloudbuild.yaml. We ran the command to perform our build on gcloud. And when that succeeded, we now have an image in our repository. Now that we have our production image stored in a repository in Google Artifact Registry, we can issue a command to GCR to pull our image from our repository and run it. Let's see what that looks like. First, what we'll do is create another file in our project called service.yaml, and we will populate this file with the following content. And now let's run our application in GCR. Here is some more permission stuff. Yes, I would like to enable GCR on this project. And look at that. We've been given a URL that will allow us to interact with the deployed version of our application. So if I command click, let's see what we find. This is expected because by default, GCR services are not publicly accessible. So we have to do one last thing, update our service policy. And the way we do that is by creating another file in our project. And we will populate this file with the following content. This is a policy that allows anybody to invoke our service. So let's apply this policy to our service. And now when we load our endpoint, let's see what we find. We've come a long way. You now know how to take containers that run on your local machine and deploy them to an amazing managed service like GCR.